In this video, I want to reach out to uh, my gamblers. I want to I want to reach out to my impulsive decision makers. I want to reach out to my uh, risk takers. Okay, uh, because I am one of you, and it takes an immense amount of training and discipline and self control to fight your natural impulses, and you're gonna probably mess up many times. Now, with that being said, if you are already a very patient person you already have the right mindset, you can go ahead and click off of this video because it's really not designed for you. I'm, I want to talk to my, I've blown through 50 funded account challenges. I've been funded. I've been not funded. I, This, that, and the rest. I, I want to talk about the extremes right now. If you found my channel for whatever reason, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the gambler. I'm talking to the risk taker. That's who I'm talking to. Where the money doesn't mean anything to you. You just Let's go, right? I want to talk to you. Day trading is not swing trading, so and we're not investing. So no, I'm not holding on to a futures position for a week. But at the same token, guys, life is a balance. Trading is a balance. And one, two, one or two, three, four trades a day is enough. Um, trade the smallest amount you can um, and and grind slowly over time just supplement whatever income you have supplement it slowly okay um, it's going to be extremely difficult for you to slow down it has been extremely difficult for me to slow down uh, I think I'm getting there but I want to talk to those of you if you're still going through a bunch of apex accounts if you're going through a bunch of top step accounts, you're going through a bunch of FTMO, whatever you're doing. Um, I'm going to give you my advice and you can take it, you can leave it, you can talk like, oh, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. That's fine. A couple of pieces of advice. Number one, I would move away from funded account company challenges because they're not realistic trading. In the real world of trading, you can hold a position for as long as you want, as long as you have the, the margin requirement. Okay, You don't have to close the position when the market closes. You can hold it over resettlement. Uh, is it always a good idea to do that? No, but there are times where you should probably do that. Uh, even, you know, and, and it happens. So one of the things that the funded account companies are pressuring you into is being on the chart all the time and uh, you know pushing it pushing you into the day session uh, when you don't have to do that um, you're trading your own brokerage account you can hold a position over resettlement meaning after the stock exchange closes okay or after the future you can hold it for over a day uh, do I recommend doing that not necessarily but if you, if you need to do it, you can do it. Number two, you have cheap options available to you. Trade Station, Amp Futures, uh, even Thinkorswim, although that's not as cheap. Uh, you can trade the micro futures products, the micro ES, the micro Russell, the micro NASDAQ, the micro crude oil. You have those things available to you. Okay. I think that if you are already inclined as I am to gamble I think that the funding account companies are making it worse for you uh, and they're yeah I'm, I'm gonna say it I, I really actually I do think that they're making that worse um, you know it, it, it's a it's a level of separation away from the real money like you should I, I'll be honest with you you should feel the pain of real loss because only through repeated pain when you've gone out and you've earned the money that you put your you're putting into your brokerage account, you're really trading money that you went out and earned. You know, you're working a job, uh, and that's the money that you're trading with. Uh, it hurts when you lose it, and you should feel some of that pain. And it's going to teach you, oh, you know, if I'm making twenty twenty or thirty dollars an hour doing whatever I'm doing, um, and I can supplement ten dollars an hour, eight dollar, whatever it is, a positive number, five dollars an hour, if I can supplement my income in even the smallest way weekly day trading that's a good thing and and it doesn't really matter what the, the dollar number is um, 
you don't even need to be in the market every single day. And what Michael says is true. You don't need to be in the market every single day. Uh, use your daily and four-hour time frames, daily, four-hour, weekly. Uh, reference them throughout the course of the day. Look at your higher time frames uh, and remember that they're there. Uh, I, I just think that the funded account challenges that you're using, you know, if you're going through Apex Trader Funding, you're going through Top Step, you're going through FTMO, in my opinion, they're giving you a little bit of a distorted image of trading. Uh, trading does not have to be, when you're trading the futures market, you can hold a position for a week if you really wanted to. I'm not saying that you should do that. I personally am a day trader. I, I don't really intend on holding positions for a week, but if I needed to, I could. That's the flexibility of trading your own brokerage account. Um, so it, my advice to you is you got to learn to slow down. Um, it's really hard. I understand that. It's really, really painful. Um, you know, you might grind up. And guys, one of the hardest things that you're going to have to come to learn is that every time you put a trade on, it could lose. Okay? I, you're not intending on losing, but you can't. And guys, there's going to be some times where you're up $50, $100, $200 on a day and you blow it the same day. And, and you cannot chase. You've got to learn not to chase. You have to do everything that is the opposite of your natural instinct. Okay? If you're a gambler... Your natural instinct is, oh, I had a loss. I need to fix it right now. That's the wrong thing. I was up a hundred dollars, and now I'm, and now, uh, now I'm, you know, now I'm break even, and then, and then you're holding a position that's going way against you, and now you're blowing your whole account. Okay, do not, do not add on to a position that is going against you. Do not uh, add on risk more than what your set risk perimeter is. Mine is just the overnight margin. Whatever my overnight margin is, what I can hold a position overnight, that's my risk management. Okay, that's why I'm on the micro Russell right now, but I'll be back on the micro ES soon. And yeah, you might have days where you're up some money and then you lose it and you cannot chase it back. You have to learn to just suck it up and go, you know what? I probably shouldn't have put on that last trade. I pushed it a little bit too hard. We're going to come back. Uh, I was up 50 bucks. I was up 100 bucks today. And now I'm, now I'm back down to break even or now I'm at a small loss. But you know what? It's better than letting that position go too far against you. Because um, the market can go as far as it wants. <sighs> to my gamblers out there, got to learn to slow down. And I think the first thing you should do is get away from the funded account companies. Um, trade your own futures account or trade your own Forex account. Uh, go out and work a job and um, feel what it's really like to you know, go out. And, and I'm sure that many of you all have jobs, right? You know what I'm talking about. But, but it's kind of like when you're playing poker or you're playing roulette or you're actually gambling. You know, when you're using poker chips, it doesn't feel the same as just using blocks of cash, although sometimes they do that as well. Um, and if any of you come from like an online poker or poker background, you're kind of used to gambling, it's really difficult to get out of that habit because uh, it's really easy to see numbers on the screen and forget that it, you know, what the real dollar value of that is. Uh, what the hourly rate is, you know, it's just easy to for it's easy to to lose connection with reality, and you need to have that connection with reality, in my opinion, to some extent. So, for my my advice for the gamblers out there is slow down, slow down dramatically, um, learn to stay around break even. When your positions go in profit, put your stop like one or two ticks in profit. Uh, one tick in profit, two ticks in profit. And yeah, sometimes you're going to get stopped out a lot. The market is going to come out and stop you out a lot. But it's better to preserve with those break-even stops, and it's better to pay a bunch in commissions. It's, it's honestly, having now done it both ways, I've done it both ways. I've used wide stops, tight stops, break-even stops. I've done everything. And you should be employing your break-even stops. Uh, it's always better to be right around where you started uh, and just pay commissions than it is to let a position run against you, okay? Because uh, oftentimes you're going to be in the market right at an inflection point right where the market is about to turn because that's where the market kind of uh, is showing you whether it's going to dramatically move in the same direction or it's going to reverse. So you might have to reverse a few times before you get in a clean move. Uh, that's just the way it is. So learn to keep your account around break even for a long period of time. Learn to hold positions over resettlement if you need to. 
learn to trade your overnight margins and don't use your day trader margins. Uh, even if they let you use day trader margins, don't use it. Don't use it because you do not want your broker, your broker, uh, broker to liquidate you, and they will liquidate you uh, very quickly. So, do not use the day trader margins. Just use your initial margin. Trade very small. Uh, trade your own cash brokerage account. Move away from the funding funded account company challenges. In my opinion, it's separating you too far from reality. Um, guys. No matter how many stories or Discord groups or people that you see that are making money day trading, 90% of people who try day trading will lose 90% of their money within 90 days. It doesn't mean that they're all idiots, guys. You have doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, uh, nurses. You got, you got really smart, intelligent people that still cannot do this because they don't have the patience. They don't have the impulse control. They don't have the big picture. Uh, one position goes against them. They blow up their account. They never come back to trading. Okay, so you have really smart, highly educated people that might be doctors, lawyers, uh, engineers, architects, and they still can't day trade. Uh, even though they're really smart, they still can't day trade because it's a different skill set that's required. Um, so that's my advice to my gamblers out there. Um, I would move away from Apex Trader Funding, in my opinion. That's my personal, non-professional opinion. I would move away from Top Step my personal non-professional opinion. I would move away from FTMO. I would trade your own brokerage account, trade your own Forex account, trade your own futures account. I know I have a lot of foreigners who cannot trade actual futures. Uh, trade a Forex account. Go go find out who you can actually trade. You In your country, you probably have a regulated broker that offers trading services. You should use it. Um, Trade your overnight margins or your initial margins. Trade no more than that. Do not use day trader margins. If you're in the United States, if you can use AMP, you can use OANDA, you can use Interactive Brokers, you can use uh, TradeStation. Uh, do not use your day trader margin. You do not want to be in a position where your broker can liquidate you. Uh, it, they will liquidate you every single time. Trust me, every single time. Uh, so don't use your day trader margin. Don't, don't, just don't, just don't allow you know use your overnight margin so they cannot liquidate you on resettlement um, you don't need to trade every day you can hold a position on for one day two days th the whole week if you need to um, and and dramatically slow down like dramatically uh, dramatically slow down it's it's gonna be um, if you're used to the highs and the lows of gambling you're used to the emotional stimulation the mental stimulation that gambling gives you it's going to be you're going to feel an amount of withdrawal okay and that's what it is you're going to feel an amount of withdrawal from not gambling and and if you go in with that expectation then it won't hurt as much and you can replace that stimulation with diet exercise dating whatever you're doing um that, that's the best piece of advice I can give you. And guys, it, let's say that you've lost a bunch of money. It's not coming back anytime soon. It's not. Uh, you just accept it that it's lost and it's not coming back. Um, you, 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 you grind through it over time. Forget that that money ever even existed. You lost a bunch of money, forget it ever even existed because it's gone and it's not coming back anytime soon. The day that you need, the day that you start doing things right is the day that you start you start grinding your way back. You're going to have losing days. You're going to have break-even days. You're going to have some moderately winning days, and you're going to have some big winning days. Um, and that's how that's how trading works. But you can show a positive return over a long period of time by using the advice that I just gave you. I just gave you. Um, so that's what I have. Uh, if you are, again, if you're already a patient person, you're already a profitable day trader and you, you have none of those gambling sort of issues that I have or that other people might have, um, then this doesn't apply to you. But if you are one of those people and you're blowing through a bunch of funding accounts, you're blowing through a bunch of cash, I would, I would strongly recommend to you to, uh, to, you know, heed the advice that I just gave. Now guys, I did just use the word advice. Quick disclaimer before this video is over for legal cover. Um, I am not liable for your financial decisions. Um, I am not advising you to invest in, purchase, uh, or sell any securities or derivatives product, including futures products or Forex or crypto or anything else. 
Uh, what you decide to do with your own money is completely up to you, and you cannot hold me liable for your decisions. Okay, guys. Uh, that was my advice. Bye-bye.